Hi, I am R. Indumati, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Microbiology at Kesa College of Arts and Science for Uman. Today my topic is about acid-base balance. First we will see about the term pH. It is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration pH is equal to minus log of H plus ion. pH is the unit of measure which describes the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution that is nothing but the acid in this case of a solution. It is measured in the scale of 0 to 14. Low pH value corresponds to high concentration of H plus and the high pH value corresponds to the low concentration of H plus ions pH value. The pH value of a substance is directly related to the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion concentration. If the H plus ion concentration is higher than the OH minus ion concentration, then the solution is said to be acidic. If the OH concentration is higher than the H plus ion concentration, then the solution is said to be basic. 7 pH is neutral, 1 to 6 is acidic and the 8 to 14 is basic. The pH scale, the pH scale corresponds to the concentration of hydrogen ion. For example, pure water, H plus ion concentration of pure water is 1 into 10 to the power 7 m. That is so, it, the pH of the water is 7. Strong acid is pH 1 to 3, weak acid pH 4 to 6, neutral pH is 7, weak, pH, weak base is 8 to 10 pH, strong base is 11 to 14. Next, we will see about the term acid and base. As is any compound which forms H plus ion in solution that is proton accept, proton donor. Example, carbonic acid release H plus ion. Basic any compound which combines with H plus ion in a solution that is proton acceptor. Example, bicarbonate accept H plus ions. Normal pH of uh, that is neutral pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Acidiosis is the physiological state resulting from abnormally low plasma. Alkalolysis is the physiological state resulting from abnormally high plasma. Acidemia is the plasma pH less than 7.35. Alkalima is the plasma pH uh, greater than 7.45. The pH can be measured in three ways the pH strips, pH indicator, and the pH me uh, meter. Now we'll see about the pH indicators. There are six different pH indicators and the pH range and they have corresponding acidic colors and the basic colors. First we will see about the phenolphthalein which has the pH 9.3 to 10.5. Acidic pH color is colorless. The basic pH color is pink. Methyl orange pH range is 3.1 to 4.6. Acidic color is red. Basic color is yellow. Bromophenol blue 3.0 to 4.6 pH. Acidic color is yellow, basic color is blue. Methyl red 4.4 to 6.2 pH. Acidic color is yellow and the, uh, red and the basic color is yellow. Phenol red 6.8 to 8.4. Acidic color is yellow, basic color is red. Litmus 4.5 to 8.3 pH. Acidic color is red, basic color is blue. Next we will see about the term pH meter. The pH meter is the laboratory equipment which used to measure acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The pH meter measures the concentration of hydrogen ion H plus using an ion sensitive electrode. It is the most reliable and convenient method for measuring pH. Next, we will see about the term buffer. buffer. A buffer solution is a solution which resists changes in pH when a small amount of acid or base is added. Typically, a mixture of weak acid and a salt of its conjugate base or weak base and a salt of its conjugate acids. Types of buffers. First, we will see about the acidic buffers. Solution of a mixture of a weak acid and a salt of this weak acid with a strong base. Example, CH3COOH is a weak acid plus CH3COONA is a salt. Next type is basic buffer. Solution of a mixture of a weak base and a salt of this weak base with a strong acid. NH4OH is a weak base. It combines with NH4Cl is a salt. Next, we will see about the working of buffers. Buffers act as the equilibrium between the acid and the base. Example, acetate buffer, CH3COOH on gives CH3COO minus plus H plus. If more H plus is added to, to the solution, it simply shifts the equilibrium to the left, observing H plus, so the H plus points are changed. If H plus is still more, then the equilibrium shifts to the right, releasing H plus to give the pH constant. Anderson batch equation. Lawrence Joseph Henderson wrote an equation in 1908 describing the use of carbonic acid as a buffer solution. Carol Albert Azel Blech later re expressed that formula in algorithmic term, resulting in the Anderson Azel batch equation. Buffering system in body fluids. 
Buffering system occurs in two. One is ICF, the intercellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. Intercellular fluid includes phosphate buffer system and the protein buffer system. Protein buffer system includes hemoglobin buffering system, RBC only, amino acid buffers, all types of proteins and the plasma protein buffers. This two type of intracellular fluids occurs in the cytoplasm. Whereas extracellular fluids is also combines with carbonic acid, bicarbonate buffer system and protein buffer system including it occurs in the outside of the cell. Next is acid. What types of acid? They are volatile acids produced by oxidative metabolism of CH4, fats and protein. Average 15,000 to 20,000 millimolar of CO2 per day. Excreted through lungs as CO2 gas. Next is fixed acids. Acids that do not leave solutions. Once produced, they remain in blood fluid, body fluid until eliminated by kidney. Example sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid and organic acids are most important fixed acids in the body. Are rearranged or generated during catabolism of amino acids, phospholipid and nucleic acid. Next response to acid pass challenges of two type one is buffering and the compensation. Buffers first line of defense less than 50 to 100 milli equivalents of per day. Two most common chemical buffer groups are bicarbonate and non-bicarbonate. Black buffer system act intensely, regulate pH by binding or releasing H plus ions. Carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. This is a carbon dioxide. Most body cells constantly generate carbon dioxide. Most carbon dioxide is converted to carbonic acid which dissociates into H plus and a bicarbonate ion. Prevents changes in pH caused by organic acid and fixer acid is a extracellular fluid. Cannot protect extracellular fluid from changes in pH that results from elevated or depressed level of CO2. Functions only when respiratory system and respiratory control centers are working normally. Ability to buffering acids is limited by availability of bicarbonate ions. The carbonic acid hydrogenic hydrogen carbonate buffer system. The carbonic acid hydrogen bicarbonate ion buffer is the most important buffering system in the extracellular fluid. Carbonic acid H2CO2 act as a weak acid. Hydrogen carbonate H3 HCO3 minus act as a conjugate base. Increase in H plus ions is moved by HCO3 minus. The equilibrium shifts to the left and most of the H plus ions are removed. This is the equation of carbonic acid hydrogen carbonate buffering system. The small concentration of H plus ion reacts with the OH minus ions. H2CO3 dissociates, shifting the equilibrium to the right, restoring most of the H plus ions. Any increase in OH minus ion is removed by H2CO2. So OH minus ion is removed by H2CO3 and H plus ion is removed by HCO3 minus. The hemoglobin buffering system. CO2 diffuses across red blood cells membrane. No transport mechanism is required for this hemoglobin buffer system. As carbonic acid dissociates, bicarbonate ion diffuses into plasma in exchange for chloride ions. Hydrogen ions are buffered by hemoglobin molecules. It is the only intracellular buffer system with an immediate effect on extracellular fluid pH. Helps prevent major changes in pH when plasma PCO2 is rising or falling. Next is buffering system is phosphate buffer system. Consists of anion H2PO4 minus a weak acid PKA minus uh, 6.8. Works like the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffering system. Is important in buffering pH of intracellular fluid. Limitations of buffering system is provide only temporary solution to acid base balance. Do not eliminate H plus ion supply to buffer molecules as limited. Respiratory acid base control mechanism. Acid base control in the respiratory system is uh, done. When chemical buffers alone cannot prevent changes in blood pH, the respiratory system is the second line of defense against changes. Eliminates or retains CO2. Change in pH are rapid, occurring within minute. PCO2 is dark uh, infinitely to VCO2 by VA. Phosphate buffer system. The phosphate buffer system HPO4 2 minus H2PO4 minus play an important role in plasma and erythrocytes. H2, H2PO4 minus plus H2 on gives H3O plus HPO4 2 minus. Any acids reacts with monohydrogen phosphate 
to form that hydrogen phosphate. H2PO4 minus plus H2O on gives HPO4 2 minus plus H3O. The base is neutralized by that hydrogen phosphate. Renal acid base control mechanism. The kidney are the third line of defense against white changes in body fluid leakage. So kidney act as a third line of defense. Movement of bicarbonate, retention on excretion of acid, generating additional buffers. Long term regulatory of acid base balance may take us two days for corrections. Renal regulation of acid base balance. Role of kidney is preservation of body's bicarbonate stores. Accomplished by reabsorption of 99.9% of filtered bicarbonate, regeneration of titrated bicarbonate by excretion of titratable acidity and ammonium salt. Protein as a buffer. Protein contains COO minus group, which, like acetate ions, can act as a proton acceptor. Proton also contain NH3 plus group, which, like ammonia, ammonium ion, can donate proton. If acid comes into play, hydronium ion can be neutralized by COO group. If base is added, it can be neutralized by NH3 group. Net acid excretion, hydrogen ion, are excreted into tubular fluid alone. Proximal convertible tubule, distal convertible tubule, and the collecting system. Acid base balance distribution, the response to aciduosis. Increased respiratory rate lowers PCO. This occurs in the lungs, whereas it is secreted through the kidney. Uh, carbonic acid enters into lungs and bicarbonate ions enter into the system. This all will be eliminated through the uh, kidney. Four basic types of imbalance that is metabolic aciduosis, metabolic alkaloidosis, respiratory aciduosis and respiratory alkaloidosis. Acid based disorders, these are the four disorders with the pH and the dist primary disturbances and the secondary response. Metabolic aciduosis, pH is less whereas H plus concentration is high, primary disturbances HCO3 minus is low whereas secondary responses low PCO2. Metabolic alkaloidosis is the pH is high, H plus concentration is low, HCO3 concentration is high, PCO2 concentration is high. Respiratory aciduosis, pH is less, H plus ion is high, PCO2 uh, uh, concentration is high, HCO3 minus concentration is high. Respiratory alkaloidosis is the pH value is high, H plus ion is less, PCO2 is less, HCO3 concentration is low. Next is metabolic aciduosis, primary anti-AB disorders, HCO3 concentration is less, so its pH is less. Gaining of strong acid, loss of base. Cause of metabolic aciduosis, it causes lactic aciduosis, ketoacidiosis, ketoacidiosis into diabetic, alcoholic and starvation. Next is renal failure, it may be either acute and chronic. Toxins include ethylene glycol, methanol and salicylate, propylene glycol. Next is metabolic aciduosis. Symptoms are specific and are, and are result of the underlying pathology. Respiratory effects, hyperventilation. We need a hyperventilation. CVS, low myocardial contractibility, sympathetic overactivity, resistant to catecholmiasis. CNS, central nervous system, that is lethargy, disorientation, tougher, muscle stiffening, coma or CN paralysis. Others is hyperkalemia. Next, uh, metabolic alkaloidosis, the pH is high due to HCO3 concentration is high. In the, uh, in the initiation process, high in serum, H, uh, concentration of HCO3 uh, concentration is high in serum. Excessive secretion of net daily produ production of mixed acids. Uh, maintenance of metabolic alkaloidosis is low concentration of HCO3 concentration. Uh, chloride, uh, chloride de depletion, potassium depletion, uh, ECF. Uh, volume depletion, magnesium depletion. Cause of metabolic acidosis, it causes uh, exogenous HCO3 load, uh, acute alkali administration, milk alkali syndrome, gastrointestinal hygiene, vomiting, gastric aspiration, renalogen, diuretic, prostate perpenic strait, hypercalcemia, hyperparathyroidism, recovery from lact lactic acidosis or ketoacidosis non reabsorbable anion including penicillin and carbenicillin mt mg2 plus deficiency k plus deficient compensation for metabolic alkalosis is respiratory compensation hypoventilation maximal compensation is pco2 55 to 60 mg per hg 
hyperventilation not always found due to uh, high concentration of PCO2. Hyperventilation due to pain, due to pulmonary congestion, due to hypoxemia. Metabolic alkalosis, decreased myocardial contractibility, erythrinesis, less cerebral blood flow, confusions, metal obtusions, neuromuscular excessibility. Respiratory acidosis is high P, uh, PCO2 concentration, so pH range is low. It is of two types, one is acute and the chronic. Composition of respiratory acidosis, acute respiratory acidosis mainly due to intracellular puffering. So, uh, high concentration of HCO3 that is 1 millimolar for every 10 mg per HCG of PCO2. Minimal increase in HCO3 concentration. pH change is 0 0.008 into 40 of PCO2. Chronic res respiratory acidosis, renal compensation, acidification of urine and bicarbonate retention comes into action. This is high concentration of HCO3 equal to 3.5 millimolar for every 10 mg HCG of concentration of PCO2. pH change is 0 0.003 into 40 PCO2 concentration. Maximal response is 3 to 4 days. Thank you for listening.